A Taylor Swift inspired commander deck? Yes. We're in. I've got a bracelet. We're walking in. I should have looked up a map of where we were sitting before we got here because the truth is I have no idea. I was so incredibly lucky and I was able to get tickets to see Taylor Swift in Denver for her Eras tour. <laughs> we're going! <laughs> we're doing it! I've been a huge Taylor Swift fan since middle school, and it was literally the most magical night. I actually didn't manage to get tickets when they first went on sale, even though I've been on her fan mail list for over a decade. But then I got an email saying I could request up to two tickets. At first I thought it was spam, but it wasn't. And I requested two tickets and I watched her live from better seats than I could have imagined getting. I had this silly idea to build a Taylor Swift Eras Tour inspired commander deck, partially because of the Taylor Swift reputation deck that Anna built. Hello, my name is Anna as well. I'm mostly known for my budget deck brews, either that I stream on Twitch. You can find those lists on my Moxfield profile. I also make travel vlogs over on YouTube and TikTok. So I reached out to Anna and this is going to be an Anna plus Anna Margaret Taylor Swift inspired commander deck. When we started brainstorming the commander, we immediately wanted something with five colors to give us the largest pool of card options that we could have. So in terms of landing on the commander, I wanted no restrictions with this deck build in terms of budget or colors or anything. So we could add as many references and Easter eggs and anything that we possibly could that we found to be Taylor Swift related. We also wanted a strong woman commander and almost instantly we both landed on Najila the Blade Blossom. So my first thought was Najila. She's a bad woman. <laughs> I don't know, can we say that? Did, can you bleep that? Najila is a 3-2 human warrior costing two and a red with two abilities. Whenever a warrior attacks, you may have its controller create a 1-1 white warrior creature token that's tapped and attacking, as well as the activated ability where you can pay one of each colored mana, untap all attacking creatures. They gain trample, lifelink, and haste until the end of turn. After this phase, there's an additional combat phase. Activate only during combat. So basically like an encore. <laughs> There are tons of reasons we had to go with Najila. First, she's nearly as flawless as Taylor Swift herself. So that was the most important consideration here. But secondly, she's a five color color identity, which means we could pull from as many cards as possible to make this deck as thematic as possible without including too many bad cards. Further, Najila is a wildly popular commander with a crazy powerful ability, which means we could build this deck to be as strong as it is thematic. Our biggest goal for the deck is to stick in as many cards as possible that have titles or themes relating to Taylor Swift. There were three different categories of things we were looking at. Specific Easter eggs, like names, things like album and song titles, as well as cards that had similar vibes or themes or names to Taylor Swift albums and songs. And finally, cards with artwork that look similar to Taylor Swift's aesthetic album covers or music videos. We started off with the easiest auto includes, Getaway Car and Wildest Dreams. I'm shocked that there's not only one, but two magic cards that share an exact title with Taylor Swift song. Cause we're riding in a getaway car in your wildest dreams. Oh. Oh. Side note, I did a ballet dance to the Vitamin String Quartet cover of this song, On Point, and it was one of my first times getting back on point after taking a long break from ballet, and I still sometimes get a little wave of anxiety whenever I think about this song. So after we went through with the song titles, we went through with the album titles and just typed it into Scryfall, see what album names would pop up into magic card titles, and that's how we came across cards like Rowan, Fearless, Spark Mage. Starlight Spectacular for Starlight, which was one of the two secret songs she sang at the show I attended in Denver. Midnight Clock for Midnights. Stroke of Midnight is also here for Midnights. Temple of the False God and Corona False God for False God. Junji the Midnight Sky for Midnights. Haunted Ridge for Haunted. Folk hero for folklore and anti-hero. It's me, 
Hi, I'm the problem, it's me. And Swiftfoot Boots because her name is Taylor Swift. As well as cards that had similar vibes, themes, or names to Taylor Swift albums and songs. Nature's Lore for the Folklore album. For the song Bejeweled, we added Jeweled Lotus, a really good card for a three mana commander. Coveted Jewel. Mox Diamond. That'll make the whole place shimmer. <laughs> Mox Opal. Of course, the Gila is still bejeweled when she's cast onto the field. She can still make the whole pod quiver. <laughs> Casting red elemental blast is like driving a new Maserati down a dead end street. Love song of night and day for love story. Blood chin rager, blood crypt, and blood fall caves for bad blood. Fatal push for jump then fall. Hero's downfall for anti hero. A snow covered island for snow on the beach. Overgrown farmland for ivy. Grove of the burn willows for willow. Veil of Summer for a cruel summer. Drevy Imperial Tactician makes me think of Mastermind. And finally, cards with artwork that look similar to Taylor Swift's aesthetic, album covers, or music videos. First up, we have Eternal Witness. One of the pieces of artwork for this card has someone sitting on a throne, and it's like Taylor's Reputation album cover. Loyal Unicorn for White Horse. Opposition Agent looks like they're on a heist. And in the new music video for I Can See You, it's a heist video with Taylor Lautner. It's great, you should watch it if you haven't. We also needed to make the deck function. So we chose to lean into the warrior theme and put in some warriors. We also made sure to add ramp, card draw, and interaction. So once we put all of our Easter eggs in and anything Taylor Swift related, we kind of went through the list just to make sure the land base was good. We had enough card draw removal, basic things that a commander deck would need just in order to function properly and perform really well at the table. This is probably the most creative deck build I've ever done, and the only close second would be the deck list that I made for Taylor Swift's Reputation album, which is really fun. It's a lot of snakes, a lot of really fun Easter eggs that have to do with her music videos from that album. I had a blast going from making a deck list based off of one album to a deck list based off of everything Taylor Swift related. It was so much fun. Thank you so much for having me as a guest on your channel. I had such a blast and I really hope we get to do this again. Peace out. Thank you so much for watching and humoring us with this self-indulgent Taylor Swift inspired commander deck. We had a ton of fun putting this together. And if you aren't following Anna everywhere, stop what you're doing and do that now. And if you want to build another theme deck with me, check out my pirate deck building video right here. It's a love story, baby, just say yes. Nice to meet you, where you been? I can show you incredible things. Magic, madness, heaven, sin. Saw you there and I'm like, oh my God, look at this. Okay, focus.